I'm back. We just want to win. Win. Win, 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 win. I'm going to put that on, too. We just want to win. Win, 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 win. Mm, mm, mm. How do we win? We just like keeping score. Y'all was raised to deal with men. We was raised to play games and shoot guns and do all that. So we do good when we got rules. As men, we do good when we have rules. Because we just want to win. We want to score. How do we win with the women, though? How do we do that? Daniel! What's up, my shipmate? Larry Springfield. How do we win, my boy? She got to worship and honor you. Hold her accountable. She don't want to worship and honor and submit to you. Move on, my men. We got to stop accepting this foolishness. It's creating ungodly type children out here. You see them, they, 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 they're goon squad. Let me hear, let you hear the song first. That what you tell them, get out the way if you don't want to submit. <laughs> you either with me or against me, huh? You either with me or against me. Win. Win, 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 win. Curve everything else. What they do? Billy Rock. Win, 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 win. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We just want to win. You're supposed to celebrate me, baby, so I can love you. I ain't saying it ain't going on, but this is for the men. We got to step it up and stop accepting all this. I'm back with what we was talking about at first. Not to bash women, but it's some ratchetness and some ungodliness going on out here. And it's in full effect, and it's with our women, and they don't know they setting them up for the okie doke. They played you with all this independent, relying on the government, and the government is about to crash, and all y'all relying on them. You can't serve two masters. You can't serve two masters. All your men are locked up. Not all of them. But a lot of them, those are, that's your protection. They done you this way on purpose because they trying to eradicate you off your own land, mother of the universe. They're so caught up in the ways of the world. You either with me or against me. Because guess what? We going to survive. Because men, we going we, we go, we to go hunt. We going to go gather. We going to go build us a hut. We going to go do what we need. Because we don't need y'all. Y'all need us. We need each other. But you see what I'm saying? In a survival, we going to survive. You ain't about to go kill your own food. You ain't about to go do all the things necessary when civilization break down. And we're going to do this civilization thing again. We're going to talk about this civilization. Because you're a civilian, right? You're a U.S. citizen, 14th Amendment citizen. You better find you a nation. You better find you a man that knows something about something so he can get you somewhere. Because this thing about to collapse. And y'all relying on this system. And civilization is the only thing that keeps that, that supports independent women. And when you when civilization collapses, we go back to natural order, the natural order of things. When civilization collapses, and Western civilization is on the brinks of collapsing, and black women, you have isolated yourself from the leader, the muscle, the boss, the assertiveness. You ain't got brute strength. You ain't got logic when you get emotional. That's what your man for. Because a woman lacks brute strength and emotional stability. <laughs> you, you, you lack that. You lack brute strength and emotional stability when, when shit hit the fan. You lacking all that. That's what your man is there for. Because you, ah, he screaming. He thinking about a route out. You see how it works? You need me. So you ain't independent at all. The system got you depending upon them. And the system is about to collapse so they can get you off your land. And you know what booty in the prize is? The women, the spoils of war is the booty in the prize. The women and their children. The spoils of war is booty and the prize. Women and their children. A lot of y'all don't have anybody beside y'all. 
This ain't to bash y'all. This is to point out reality and what's coming down this pipeline. You see what's going on. Well, a lot of y'all not paying attention to what's going on in the world. All the nations are about to come against this one nation. They're about to come against this one nation that's been perpetrating the fraud and they found out about you. And what happens for you women when money is no longer of value? There's no more bullets. There's no more police. There's no more doctors, lawyers, no cell phone. What you gonna do? Wanna be baller, shot caller. Anyway, this ain't for the women. This is for the men to stop accepting what's going on out here. We don't need no more strong women. Y'all been strong long enough. And I know a lot of y'all had to do it by default because we haven't been protecting y'all for the last 200 years. It ain't my fault. The cowards before me stopped protecting and stopped being, stopped, start uh, subjecting or, or how would you say not protecting you. They did it and they taught us not to do it because they told us you was the way, the truth, and the light, meaning the system. This is about gaining your power back, man. You got to stop having sex with these women. You got to stop marrying these women. You got to hold these women to a higher standard because they're all out of order. They're out of order. Not all of them. And if it ain't you I'm talking about, don't be getting mad. And if it ain't you as a man I'm talking about, don't be getting mad. Because we, use, what I found myself doing, because I ain't have no understanding, we medicate ourselves with sex and all this stuff. Church, drugs, drinking, this Instead of becoming whole. And, and, and we let these women ruling over us and they just doing what they want to do and we just accepting it, man. We can't accept this foolishness no more. They, they, messing, they messing up my... I got four little girls. They messing up these little girls and they don't even see it. The little girls just doing what they see and the men, the young boys just doing what they see. We talk about a woman. I was born from a woman. She is the first teacher and when the teacher is disfigured, so is the student. So is the student, my boy. Let's look at this according to the black man and a woman's relationship. Men needs to see. Men needs the woman to reflect his life. If there is no woman present, a man can cannot define himself or his purpose. For he cannot visualize himself. He will become lost, feel alone, have low self-esteem. The woman needs the man to give her his energy. In order for her to manifest anything in the physical dimension, she needs a man's energy to fuel and inspire her. If she doesn't have a man around her, then she becomes stagnant, confused, and disoriented. The concept of the law of reflection replies, applies in relationships. Why did, I, why did they come How did they come about? That's because you are the purpose of man, woman. You, you are your own thing. And what they say? You come in with two visions equals division. Division equals divorce. You can't have two visions. It's one vision. You get with a man, man, you got to have a vision, a mission, a something for her to manifest. Want me to read it again? You got to have something for her to manifest. What did it say? What did it say? What did it say? What did it say? If a woman, if no woman is present, a man cannot define himself or his purpose. For he cannot visualize himself. He will, he will become lost, feel alone, and have low self-esteem. The woman needs the man to give her his energy. In order for her to manifest anything in the physical dimension, she needs a man's energy to fuel and inspire her. If she doesn't have a man around, then she becomes stagnant, confused, and disorientated. Don't you see a lot of these folks? And the way for the woman to give a man her energy, she needs to bend over. Tony, you got to think with the other head, my boy. Think with the other head, my boy. That, 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 you, you, you ain't... On, that, you don't... You don't you, listen, don't use that as a tool. Your greatest tool isn't between your legs, Tony. The greatest tool isn't between your legs. The, the most important real estate on the planet is them six inches between your ears. Your greatest tool is not your leg, not the, the, not the leg between the legs, brother. The greatest tool is not between your legs. It's between your ears. You got to dwell with her according to knowledge. Because we just want to win. If you want to win, she needs you to lead. Because she can help you if you're doing something. But she ain't going to follow no... Nothing, you ain't nobody that's not leading is out here just docile, that just has no purpose, that has no sense of self. You have to get knowledge of self first. Knowledge, then the understanding, then the wisdom. In that order, that way. But it's not, like I said, it's not on here to bash women and do all this, but men, we got to stop accepting this foolishness. See, Tony up there thinking with his penis. Tony, you got to stop thinking with your penis. You got to stop having sex with these women and, 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 
praising them and worshiping them for all this righteousness because she looked good. She got all her stuff out. That ain't how th this thing's supposed to be. You ain't supposed to be all willy nilly. You supposed to be covered. And by you ain't covered, we just doing our nature by going after what's not covered. First Peter, dwell with her according to knowledge. First Peter three and seven. Lack of lack of men breeds dominant women. So they took the man out the house, made him go to work. That's Ephesians 5, verse 22 through 24. I think that, no, nah, it might not be it. But anyway, lack of men breeds dominant women. We understand why you've been dominant. We haven't been protecting you. But what we on here, what I am on here to do is try to help the men, help themselves to get things back in order. Because y'all going to do whatever society tell y'all to do. But they need a man to come in with logic instead of emotion to lead them. Me and you can't be all you so emotional because you was raised by your mama. <laughs> and you picked up her tendencies. Remember, the mother is the first teacher. You don't know who you need till you know who you are. Stop, 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 stop providing these women and stop taking care of these women that don't want to submit and don't want to be right. Don't like right, like I said, women love, women love wickedness. They don't wanna, they don't wanna. They don't, they don't like righteousness because there's too much accountability. Now she got to stop doing all this. Now she, because they so embedded into the world now and it's become the norm to have sex with, they, 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 it's come the norm for women just to have sex indiscriminately. Don't understand, they, they have lost the value of understanding why their hymen needs to be there. Now she been having sex with so-and-so-and-so-and-so-and-so-and-so-and-so-and-so-and-so-and-so-and-so-and-so-and-so-and-so-and-so-and-so-and-so-and-so-and-so-and-so-and-so-and-so-and-so-and-so-and-so-and-